Good evening, everybody. Hope you had a good Sunday day, a good Sunday morning at church and Sunday school today to go. And I hope you had a blessed day and a relaxing day and an encouraging day in the Lord. I want to share something with you tonight from Hebrews, from Hebrews chapter 4, starting in verse... 14 it says this seeing then that we have a great high priest who has passed through the heavens jesus the son of god let us hold fast our confession for we do not have a high priest who cannot sympathize with our weaknesses but was in all points tempted as we are yet without sin. Let us therefore come boldly to the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. I want to talk about tonight our compassionate high priest. Back in the biblical time, back in the Old Testament, back in Israel's days, and in Jesus' time, the high priest, the priests, would get lambs. A lamb had to be sacrificed before the Lord to have the people's sins covered for that day, for that time. But it didn't take away the sins. It just covered the sins. And once a year... A priest was chosen, and that was a high priest. Whoever the high priest was that year went behind the curtain and first had to offer up sacrifice for himself and for his family. And then he had to offer up all the blood sacrifices for all the people of Israel. And this would take days, months, to burn all these sacrifices. Just to turn around to do it again. With another high priest. But they had. But look what it says here. Seeing then that we have a great high priest. Who has passed through the heavens. Jesus the son of God. Let us hold fast our confession. We have a high priest. His name is Jesus. Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Jesus of Nazareth, the Nazarene. Jesus is our great high priest. He intercedes for us. When we come to him in prayer, when we start to have that relationship, believing in our hearts, with that great confession, to hold fast to that great confession that we made once we believe, believed in him. And holding fast to the great confession and believing that he is our great high priest. He intercedes for us. And, and he can sympathize with us. He knows our weaknesses. The other priests and high priests... They didn't sympathize. They didn't understand what they were to what they were to do. They were they were told to do it by Moses and his brother Aaron to the Lord. And as time went on. They became more and more and more ungodly. Jesus came, excuse me, then Jesus came. And he is able to sympathize with us. He's able to relate to us. He's able to understand our weaknesses. Because he, had, because he the Son of God, put on flesh, human flesh, just like we have human flesh. He put, a, he put the human flesh on. 
but in all but was in all points tempted as we are, yet without sin. See, when we're tempted, we're bound to yield to it. Even as a believer, every day we 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 sin in our lives. Even as a believer, we sin in our lives. Just because we're a believer in Jesus Christ does not mean that we don't sin. Does not make us perfect. We got to face temptation every day. But it says he was he was faced with temptation too, yet without sin. There's two, there's many occasions in the Gospels where Jesus was tempted, but two I can sh that I remember is one was when Satan tempted Jesus out in the wilderness. He passed every temptation. Two, a woman was caught in adultery and was brought before Jesus. I'm sure she wasn't fully dressed. I mean, I wasn't, <laughs> I wasn't there. I don't really know, but the scripture says she was caught in adultery. And, they, and the Pharisees and the Sadducees, the rulers of Israel, that day were trying to catch Jesus up in what he was saying. Yet without sin. So let us therefore come boldly to the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to our, to help in time of need. Because we're weak, because of our weakness, we can hold on with confidence to that great confession we made about Jesus to bring him into our lives. And we can go boldly into that throne room of grace, of God's grace, of God's mercy. And find grace to help in our time of need, to find that amazing grace in that time of need, in that time of need. When Jesus hung on the cross, he cried, it is finished. And he gave up his spirit. Then there was an earthquake. That earthquake tore that curtain between God and man that only the high priest could enter into the Holy of Holies once a year was torn. And now we can come boldly into the throne room of grace through Christ Jesus' blood. What a privilege, what an honor that is. You have a blessed day. Remember, to die is to gain. To live is for Christ Jesus. You have a blessed day.